spend a half an hour to recall a journal paper title you sent me. If you have already sent me the paper, but I haven't put the list here, please email me again, okay? And then you can click in the list. I have lots of students here. But so far, like the looks like the no one will be other ones, other topics. So that's one to let you know. I put all the list on the e-campus system, so you can go when you go back home, you can check the whole list again. And make sure I don't put the wrong paper with the wrong student. Okay, so far looks suppose based on the, the the paper you email me. And some some students will someone will email me like two or three papers, I will pick up one of them. So I see like the, for example like, like I remember like the Cherio emailed me two days two days ago and you pick up three papers that I finally decide to assign this for you. Something like that. So when you go back on to today, like uh, you can check the whole list here. And so far, like no one repeat other papers, so looks fine. Okay. So this is the first one. I would like to announce it. Okay. But for a whole minute, and you can check the other papers. All right. So this is the number one. When you please go back home to check the whole list. And if you haven't submitted any favorite title, please email me as soon as possible. I will update this list again. Because like the, some people may choose the same paper, so I better to update this as soon as possible to avoid the uh, duplication. All right, and the second thing is follow the schedule. So just for a reminder, next week we have the visiting tour and and uh, sorry for certain students, I already, I wish to I could bring all of you to be there, but sometimes we have a late visit, so some of you may not be able to join us, but it's fine. So next week we don't have a class here, but we have a class in Taipei. We have a visiting tour, and we start from uh, a I forgot the time, a fifty or something, a little bit late because like the early change, we will not change very difficult to book the enough tickets, so we. A little bit the schedule, reschedule it again, and then. But the whole thing is the same. We have we will visit two companies, one attribute to government and one attribute to private. So sometimes you can try to check like and also compare the difference between the government and the private and public and private company to see what's the what's the difference. Then we will have one more class on the November twenty seven. Then we will start from the midterm exam a little bit late. But uh, I would say, like the, in general, I prefer to cover the material until the year. Okay, so, we, so today, like the uh, today's session, we will bring to the final exam. Okay, so the midterm exam will cover the materials we taught on until last week. Start from today, will be covered during the final exam. But still, feel free to join us. And also, like the we will start from the presentation. I so far I pre. I plan to finish around two weeks, hopefully we could. If sometimes we may not be able to uh, finish within these two weeks, a little bit extend to the Christmas, but we still have a session late. So, which means like uh, during the Christmas, we will probably have a one hour to finish the remaining students, and but I will still give you a two hour session at the, at the end. So January 1st, well, happy holiday. And also like the January 8th, very soon we have another group project presentation. Um, so far I received one group. But like the, if possible I still want some mixture, but I haven't forced you to like the, to, to really, I mean, the first group looks fine. They do have a mixture, but uh, diversity looks, maybe we can have more diversity. So ideally if you have a five students, five group members, if they can from five different countries, that would be great. But if not, it doesn't matter. So I still, I still respect by your, your decision. So follow your decision. So so far, I receive one group team member, and perhaps you can start to form a group, another group, second or third group. And we have a lots of discussion every week. So perhaps so far you have already know most of the classmates. Hopefully you can join your team. But still have time. So I mean. Let's finish our midterm exam and midterm presentation. 
and then we will move to the final group. So you will see like uh, we almost finished the official session at the first part, but at the second part we have to start to do some, uh, I would say that's like related to grading. And hopefully I can give you, or most of you like an A plus, but uh, we still have some, like we still have to do some evaluation process. So better to finish that then. Uh, final exam, I finally decided to let you take home. So, perhaps, I will, we will have the uh, final group project presentation with something like the special activity. Maybe I will try to organize it around the park or something. As usual, we will try to uh, let everyone prepare or cook something from your home country. But let's play it later. Maybe we can play start from playing on Christmas. It should be fine. So that's my plan. So then during that January A, maybe I will give you the final exam sheet, and you just turn it back around in one week. So I should take home just because like the um actually I don't like the last of the exam. <laughs> you know like these graduate level schools courses. So I wish you can have more uh, I don't know creative thinking, a different thing, but exam looks like for me it's kind of like undergraduate level or junior high or elementary. But for me, like the, I, I think that like major exam should be fine. We don't need so many exams. All right, so is that clear for the, our next plan? All right, so let's finish one by one. So next week, just for a reminder, we have the visiting tour. Although we, re we rescheduled to a little bit uh, around the start, the past around like 8.50, I forgot, I forgot it's that time, but hopefully like no one delay, I mean, I mean we, we may not be able to wait for you, so just make sure you, we can have a happy trip here. All right, so everything is fine, let's get it started for the session. And also this list, hopefully you can check that. All right, so today we will start from the, the Another issue. I call it custom operations, but before that, again, like every week, I would like to talk about something new. Certainly, this week, we better just start working watching like the double eleven. So I'd like to share something with the double eleven. <coughs> and <coughs> so you receive like a one half page, and later I will have some discussion with you. Again, like we don't have homework, so perhaps like every sometimes like the, I will try to collect some the yeah, your opinion to be like the normal assignment. But I would say like the, even though you like one or two should be fine. Now I will collect a lot and allow like you have the one or two absence should be fine. So don't worry too much about that. All right, so online payments in China this year. Anyone join this double eleven shopping event? In Taiwan we also have. See, anyone join that? I just quickly survey. Yeah, I I I I, I do have already purchased two or three items actually. So anyone join this? No? Yes. What kind of stuff you purchase this time? Mouse. Oh okay, mouse. Okay. Logitech or yes, yes. Oh okay, okay. So some of you may join this, some may not. So like, we will discuss it later. But eventually you will see like the, before this year, like uh, most of the most of like the expert analyze. Everyone looks a little bit not that optimistic for the, because during the post COVID uh, nineteen, most of one may think like the, this year may not be able to reach the record high. But again like the, as we keep mentioning and we discussed this for a couple of weeks. We found like COVID really benefit with the e-commerce system. So this year, uh, not surprisingly, they reached a record high. So this is the previous data, Start, starting from September 2019 till the 2020 this year. Till September, you will see like the this is the we call the retail sales continues. So you will see generally like the without the COVID looks fine and suddenly decrease and then gradually recover back. So that's the trend. What kind of things would be, or what kind of like the, uh, who be the main player, e-commerce players in mainland China? 
We today we mainly focus on the main China just because W eleven starting from the China, so we can we can do that. I know this is a little, a little bit uh, small size, so you can go back home to zoom out this. But basically, they try to compare the so far like the uh, market share rate and also like the B two C online shopping or try to do some statistics. But basically, Alibaba still playing really number one here. No matter, no matter in like the, we call it, uh, in terms of like the money or in terms of like the market share rate, we see like a nearly 50% with Alibaba. And the other two maybe, Jindong plays well, a quarter and the others a little bit. Deep. So you will see even we call a GMB. The GMB means a gross merchandise value. Still like Alibaba plays rank number one. You see like it's quite different. And also like the other annual consumers, uh, this like the brown bar re represented for Alibaba. You see they also pre pre uh, play very good. So this is an entire channel. So just let you know some background information. And this is a point breaker high list year. So this number with lots of the parcels. So this is in terms of million parcels. So looks good. What's the trouble here? So again, number one, you will see like the followed by the double eleven. We may have lots of a billion of parcels need to be delivery. It's very easy. And then following problem will be the the first problem is very difficult to deliver on time. Second problem will be like the someone may really return. So we call it reverse logistics. It's another trouble. So some some people may not be really happy with the items they receive. So lots of return reverse logistics will be bringing. So how do you think? How to solve it? I will ask you some later. And also like one more. Something also very interesting. So here, like the, you see, like this year, it can be a little bit different. So let's talk about several different strategies. So Alibaba want to increase like the customer's willingness to, to shop. So they try to develop a two phase. First one, they call it pre-sales from the October 21st to November 3rd. And then another one is a regular double 11. So this year, they have the two phase. And also, like but another interesting thing here is the other two, ranking number two and number three. I will especially focus on the number number three. You see, this is a five-year-old e-commerce company, but this year they don't want to join the Double Eleven event. I would like you to think, why? Why they don't want to play? If you are the e-commerce players, most of you will choose this to join this kind of big event, big festival every year, just once why they decide to quit this market. So today I would like to propose two questions. Number one, but you can answer on your sheet first, put your student name and ID, and later we will start to discuss. Number one question would be, uh, how to solve, the, my first question would be like, a, how to solve this logistic issue? So we have so many puzzles here. How oh, I should have to hear that. Okay. We have lots of billion parcels. How to successfully deliver it? You can write down one or two strategies. Number two, uh, assume, uh, definitely, we, uh, every year we have received lots of reverse return, lo return items, lots of reverse logistics, maybe lots of garbage. How will you solve this problem? So number two. Number three. Try to guess why the ranking number three e commerce platform doesn't want to join this double eleven this year. And will you agree this strategy or not? 
those three questions. I mean, it's not exam. I just want to, you think about that before our discussion. We still have a discussion, but later. So sometimes I, like, I think like uh, if we just put into a discussion directly, some of you may not be able to quickly respond and give you uh, effective ideas with others. So I'd like to discuss this three issues. You can write down your opinion first. Later on, we will have a three group. First group, try to tell me how to successfully deliver it. Because you know, like year by year, the shopping record reach even more and more. So which means like the logistic pressure also increase. How to successfully deliver it on time? How do you think? The second question is also another big, big challenge. Like the, every year, they will, lots of people will shop first, but return immediately. So which means lots of reverse logistics, lots of garbage. Uh, how will you solve this problem if you were, uh, I don't stand on Alibaba or stand on a logistic company? It's a trouble. Lots of my students also facing this trouble. Number three question would be, like this one, so most of the e-commerce players will join this big annual festival. But surprisingly, we found this ranking number three, uh, the five-year new e-commerce company, they even don't want to join any event because they say like the, first of all, they say it's complicated, like the discount fight. And also like the, they don't want to encourage customers to do the overconsumption. Will you agree or disagree? How will you think? So three questions. Please write down your own opinions first before we end, we put in the discussion. So I know like the, previously we, start, we just start from discussion, but this time I want you to think first. And then, and we will have a three group. Don't forget to put your student ID in there. And we will have the, I will give you five minutes to think about your, your ideas, then we will start our discussion today. Again, okay, like every week, I would like to train in your communication capability, but before communication, you better to start from thinking. To ask you three questions. Uh, some of you may be a little late. Can you explain again? So every year we have the double eleven. Uh, even for me, like every year, I'm trying to join like, uh, just one or two items. But again, like, you know, we found like some challenging issues occur year by year, and more and more seriously to be become like a big challenge. So, first of all, number one. You see like a more and more record high year by year, especially for this year. Uh, how to make sure you ensure that items could be delivered on time? That means like a lot of the orders, jump the transaction, jumping on just November 11. How to make sure you can successfully deliver it on time? Um, I think maybe that will even not like the, unlike the Christmas, but sometimes it's during Christmas. Think about that. Christmas gift is delayed. Will you be happy? Certainly not, right? Or like a Thanksgiving gift, a birthday gift. No one wants to be receive a delay, the late delivery. So how to make sure they can deliver on time? This is the first one question. Number two, after the shopping season, we found like every year they create lots of garbage. Garbage may be from resulting from like the lots of return. Someone will quickly purchase, but they don't like this item, so for whatever reasons, they just return. So which is lots of return logistics and free follow, followed by lots of garbage, because every parcel needs to be packed, and lots of garbage. How to solve this problem? How do you think? Third question will be like here is, we suddenly found like the most of the e-commerce company almost will join this annually shopping festival. But surprisingly, we found this year, like the, especially the ranking number three e-commerce company in mainland China, they don't want to join this event, and they have their own reason. We agree on this group, this great strategy. If you were owner of this third e-commerce player, will you follow by this? Will you agree or disagree this strategy? Please tell me your reason. 
we will start from our discussion in five minutes. I this time I prefer to let you think in advance. You can Google the background information you need, and then we will start our discussion. And hopefully, this time everyone can provide some useful strategy. Quite different training this day, this time. Write down your thing first before discussion. For the first question, I have provided my answers on the, on the slides. So when you go back home, you can check my answers. I have six different strategies. Okay, okay. So let's get him from start from the pink one. Yeah. Okay. Please. The first idea is to use the border management system to automate the border processing and delivery allocation. Because it will make it will make it faster than oh, hold on, hold on. You know, like the, this is a very interesting question. Like the, sometimes we have some survey, we have some project. Even recently, we tried to hire some students to help us to survey some questionnaire. Very difficult. You know, like just one day or hourly pay depends, but so far, like very difficult. So I would not say this is best strategy, but I would just tell you the realities. Um, ideally, idea would be fine, but very difficult to implement this idea. Okay. Uh, excuse me, actually it's my idea, so I think that uh, the festivals we have to prepare in the catalog uh, they not just like one day or two that we need, like hire them for one or two weeks. And maybe we can pay higher than usual to attend more students or anyone to attend to be a temporary uh, I think possible, but maybe we can think about more detail for each of my students might be a good choice. Because it's possible to do this kind of temporary job. And one week or two weeks would be fine, much better than just one or two days. Yeah. Maybe. And also pay higher than Maybe you can link to the team too, because those students <laughs> can also help dealing with the return logistics. Okay, keep going up. Thank you. Okay. And then we also have providing estimated delivery dates to customers so that. Uh, they, are, they act like action points, you know, like you are working towards achieving your delivery by that particular day. Mm -hmm. And then focusing customer purchase preferences by region and mm -hmm. storing goods that are focused for purchase in those particular regions, close to the regions, close to the customers, so that the time is reduced. Very good. This is how we stop how we currently done. We have one research project with a logistics company. We also do this kind of demand forecast. But very difficult. Forecast is always difficult. But we have some interesting findings recently. Another one is engaging third party logistics providers and orienting them about the company's logistics goals so that there is harmony between their service and the goals that the company wants to achieve through the service of delivering goods to customers. And it will also increase the number of available, uh, the number of 
available equals to deliver those two customers. Okay, but remember that like during double level, which means most of the e-commerce platform are under a certain graduate of logistic delivery graduate. So which means that like, you will see like the trust always very limited for every operation in company. So it will be kind of fun. And another one is developing a software system that links distributors and suppliers to ensure that uh, the forecasts of demand and supply are matched and this will happen and, and that the information about the demand forecast is shared with suppliers and so it will help to ensure that what suppliers uh, ship is what is demanded by customers and then keeping customers informed about the progress of their deliveries <coughs> over the shipping process and then increasing delivery prices during the spring to cater for faster deliveries. Uh, but interesting, but increasing the delivery price, you know it's kind of like a violator double eleven point, you know, like they want to provide free shipping, free and fast shipping. If you put the money there, they will switch to another your competitor. Maybe. I'm wondering this strategy because like uh, we know like uh, this is a good strategy, but sometimes like uh, in the I would uh, I don't know in the reality if you want to have increase in the shipping fee, which means that like, uh, you may reduce your customers' willingness to to buy. Yeah. We also have using electronic express bills rather than hard copy ones to make bill deliveries faster. Okay, very good. Yeah, this yeah. is true. Yeah. yeah. Another one. It's interesting. Okay. Cooperating with competitors in the delivery. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. Uh, it's but it's it's true. It's it's true. It's really useful and uh, good strategy so far. They company will be e-commerce, but collaborate with a logistic company, or they may not willing to collaborate, but lots of great company will tell them to, to come back together. Um, I so far I know in Korea. They do this kind of system, similar like a collaboration cooperation among like a three to four great shipping company. Because like the what's the advantage to collaborate collaboration with those three e-commerce platforms? If without the collaboration or collaboration, how will it happen? Your customer have you know your customer have to wait until the the great shipping company have time to deliver your tackles. But if you are willing to merge together, for those kind of truck companies, they are they may be happy and they can easily to to consolidate those kind of shipment together. So I would not say it's, in, it's actually it's a true strategy so far. Because they only fight within the internet, <laughs> not for the physical delivery. Okay. Okay, very good, thank you. How about you two? Any okay. On how to reduce uh, replace of using garbage, the first one is uh, making uh, descriptions clear so that the customers can be able to order the right product that they want. Okay, good. Uh, there's also you can also use recyclable materials for packaging. Uh, okay. So that after retaining, you can you can be able to recycle the. The materials. Uh, very good strategy, but we discussed this issue last week with several different logistics company owners. Key question would be, within the one company, for example, like the cargoes within Taiwan, maybe easy to do this kind of strategy. But if you do like the international shipping, that would be another problem. Because you may not be able to consist like the North American unified parcel size with uh, different countries. So same countries should be possible, much more possible, but for international shipping, previously lots of the cargoes from China to Taiwan, you know, those kind of packing materials or packing size would not be easy to reuse. I just want to let you know. We do discuss these issues a couple of days ago with several with the DHO lots of the uh, international shipping companies. Yeah. Okay, please. Okay, you can also limit the returns on our individual customers. Mm -hmm. You can also 
uh, you should make sure that there are different goods should be to have different packaging materials mm -hmm. to ensure uh, smooth delivery so that uh, the goods that can be uh, can easily be broken or perishable can be protected from uh, being broken. Uh, you should also let customers give feedback for reasons why they are taking the product so that next time you can do that. This is very important. Like the, I agree. Like the, we try to survey why you want to return these items and see what's going on. So if person waiting try to avoid this or the probability you return again. Okay. Yeah, this is very and important. letting customers uh, use the same packaging material when returning the product. So far like the post office in Taiwan do similar ideas. They have a three different bags for the customer to reuse and reuse again. And they even provide some discount if you want to reuse this package material. Now that's also another point. Uh, customers can return the packaging materials to the shops and have a discount for yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, that's possible to in increase in the willingness to, to reuse. Yeah. So that's all that we have. Okay, thank you and thanks for watching you. Uh, this part is very difficult. It is very difficult to, to handle like the and most of the logistics companies facing this challenge, not just for double eleven. The normal regularly operations, they have lots of lots of return uh, garbage and those kind of packaging materials become another like the, Most of the company try to reuse again, but very difficult. So post office in Taiwan right now, they tend to develop three different sets of bugs um, to encourage customers to, to reuse again. So we probably will soon to try to coordinate most of different companies that you can develop the same size with the, the, the bugs, not easy. Okay, the thing three, our happy thing. <laughs> we think one of the possible reasons why this company came to our door decided not to join the double development event is that they, are, they might not be capable to meet customers' needs. Mm -hmm. They might be dealing with this issue that um, there might, might be a bad impact on the customer's loyalty and customer's experience because of possible events that might occur mm -hmm. because of the current situation and mm -hmm. maybe based on their past experience mm -hmm. uh, uh, even logistics experience is possible or they can't afford to offer a big discount so they won't take part in this double eleven event it might also be possible that they decided they don't want to afford, they don't want to offer big discounts because at the end this is not profitable for them. Mm -hmm. It might be profitable in the short term, mm -hmm. or it might look as profitable. Mm -hmm. 